All right, welcome to Digital Toolbox. I'm Scott, and today we are going to export uh, live data from Grasshopper into Microsoft Excel. So as an example, I'm going to take the uh, tutorial last time with the complex geometric form with uh, lines and lofting to uh, export these line lengths into Excel. So this definition is uh, almost identical to the one we used in the last tutorial but uh, I've copied it twice so now I have one set of lines and a second set of lines so to export to Excel uh, all you need is some data from Grasshopper I'll use this first set of lines uh, to export these line lengths now you can see the line lengths if you just grab a uh, panel and I'll just grab a panel from toolbar and stream the line lengths into this panel. So you can put these uh, any type of data into this panel and here we have line lengths for every line in the in the in the system we're seeing the the length of that here. So it numbers them all and we get to see the uh, line L equals 16 point however many down to like the 10,000th decimal place. So this, uh, any data that we have in a panel, you can do this for logic data or color data or points, x, y, z coordinates, whatever you want. Here we're just going to do, do lengths. So I'll right click and select stream contents. This brings up a um, dialog box. I'll do um, new data uh, one, we'll call it, and we select a CSV file, comma separated value file, and we'll just save that to the desktop. Now I'll go over to Microsoft uh, Excel and grab a new workbook, create. And I have a blank workbook. Now I'll go to data under the data column and from text. This gets external data from a different uh, sheet. So I'll grab new data one and import and it'll ask me a few things. I'll say delimited is the file type that we want. Next uh, you can choose what the limiters are so if we have a semicolon or a comma which we'll see when we add the second set uh, you can select that. Here we don't need it. Click on next. General is fine. We'll click on finish. It asks you where you want to insert it. I'll say the A1 is fine. And there you have it. It populates the spreadsheet with all of the contents. Now we can go to we can go back to Grasshopper and update this uh, stream. So I'll toggle some of these values. Uh, I'll the update my geometry and these values change uh, live in Grasshopper. All we have to do is go back to uh, Stream File Path and um, use the same same file path. Click Save. I'll read is this. Okay. Now we'll go back to Excel and refresh all. It asks for the file path. Click the same one. Import and these values changed. So that's how you stream data from Grasshopper to Excel. Now we'll go back and look at this, uh, look at doing two at once. So two streams uh, at once. Uh, I've created, I've taken the same definition that we just used with these lines and duplicated it with uh, a little bit different geometry. So we have different values for these lines even update this a little bit more so we see how uh, drastic this changes. So now that we have uh, the line lengths for the first one, I'll just copy this panel and bring it down to the second one. Here you can see that the first is exactly what we just uh, exported and the second is the second set that should be have shorter line lengths. So I'll just blow up Grasshopper so you can see this. 
Here are these 16 foot line lengths. And then I'll pan down to these other ones are six feet, six feet with some some odd feet. So now that we have these two uh, two panels, I can go ahead and grab a function under scalar, I'll, two variable function. Our two variables will be these paths, and double click on it to get the expression editor up. For the expression editor, there's a function called format and this will format it in our new uh, panel and I'll open up uh, uh, parentheses and I'll say length one which will be from our first one uh, I think you have to uh, put in a quotation mark here length one comma and this will separate it out in Excel curly braces 0 that's our first value that will be the x value in the function go length 2 comma curly braces 1 is ironically our second value it starts at 0 in grasshopper and comma and then I'll close the quotation marks another comma and we'll do x comma y and then end our uh, parentheses so I think that should do it. it says no syntax errors are detected click on OK zoom back in now I have uh, my first set of lengths put, I'll put those into the x value and then I'll take the Y value and put it into our second set. I'll copy this panel and put the panel into the output and here we go. Zoom in and you can see uh, it populates them all into rows with length one separated by a comma and then the first length 16 feet and then the next length, uh, length, length two, and then line six feet, and then they all continue into the uh, into the live updating lengths. So now that we have this panel with um, different different values, I can highlight it and stream contents, stream file path, and we'll say um, save it again as say two panels and make sure to save it as a CSV file commerce separated values save that to the desktop and then go back up to our last um, book in work in uh, Microsoft Excel and this is the original um, one panel that we did so I'll just go again from text two panels this time, import, delimited, next uh, it asks for the delimiters so I'll say column and you can see it breaks it down uh, into separate columns based on where the commas are, that's where the comma, race, comma separated value uh, format gets its name from. Click on next, general, yeah, finish and I'll drop it into the C column, press OK so here we go. Um, our live update uh, values with two, two uh, different sets of values in one. And this is live updating. Uh, if we just refresh these contents, anytime we toggle something or you know get some different values, it'll update right here. And th that's how you get data from Grasshopper into Excel. Thanks for listening. Hope you learned something.